Hey y'all, I'm Ashley and this is Ashley's Closet. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Glad to have you. So today I had originally planned on doing a show and tell. I ordered wool. Well, let me back up. So Dooney has a sale going and so I had been wanting the um, Sapiano domed zip satchel and I uh, went ahead and ordered the mauve or the light mauve. Um, it came in and the foot was floating around in the bottom of the um, plastic wrap bag. So I sent it back and I ordered a second one and it came in and it was understuffed and therefore misshapen. I was like, really? Seriously? Like, this isn't going to be a do any rant by any means, but I have not had good luck with their Sapiano leather bags. Four out of five have been defective and had flaws, so I think it's safe to say, as far as Sapiano leather goes, that Michael Kors is the winner there. Um, I've had several, several of his Sapiano bags and I've never had any issues with any of them. And with Dooney, four out of five have. So I'm pro I think it's safe to say, I know never say never, but as of right now, I'm done with Dooney and Burke Sapiano leather. Now, with pebbled leather, Dooney and Burke takes the cake. And so today's video is going to be a review on this Dooney and Burke zip zip satchel. This is in the color aqua. Now, I've already did my unboxing on this bag. I did it a couple of months ago. I think I got it during the winter, no, the 12 days of Dooney sale. And I, I got it for stupid cheap, like 40 or $50. Um, great savings combined with points, loyalty points that I already had. So anyways, but I wanted to give my review. I know there's a lot of QVC videos out there on this specific bag. I know that this specific bag is very popular, has been for decades with the company. Um, this is not the first zip zip I've had um, from Dooney and Burke. This is the, I think third, and I'd already went over this in my unboxing. I originally had the Spearmint, and returned it and then I got the mint I think this was back in maybe 2015 five or six years ago and I carried it for a while and then I sold it so um, as I've already said I'm notorious for buying a bag and then not keeping it in my collection and then selling it because I generally after I bought a bag and worn it a couple, uh, couple of months excuse me my nose was itching I don't go back to it so anyways, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts on this bag, some pros, cons, and whatnot. So again, this is the color Aqua. I think this bag is still available in this color. The last time I looked on the website, which was last week, it was, and they may even have mint as well. Um, oh, anybody that did want the spearmint, I know that was a hot, hot color that they couldn't keep. Like it would sell out like in the shows, the QVC shows. As of yesterday, I Love Dooney has the Zip Zip in Spearmint for 30% off, I think is what it was. So if anybody did miss out on the Spearmint color, as of yesterday, you can get it from ilovedooney.com. Um, anyways, but this is the color Aqua. I do wear the strap. I kind of have the same feeling that everybody else or most people do on the strap. I kind of wish that they would redesign this and put the strap hooks here and just not be able to zip it all the way down. I would appreciate that. It is not a deal breaker for me though. Um, I mean, they say, you know, the idea is to keep the straps down when you wear it on your shoulder, but I don't. I mean, it doesn't bother me having the straps up. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't really bother me. It's not a deal breaker for me. Now, um, this one is shoulder. Um, long shoulder. You can't wear it as a crossbody. Four feet on the bottom. It's got the Sierra or Russet trim on the handles, trim, zips, tabs, strap. Nothing on the back. And then of course the gold plated logo for Dooney. I keep mine zipped right about here. It gives me just enough room 
to be able to open and see. In it, I have my keys, mask. Oh, let me just tell you real quickly. This is the most comfortable mask. This is not um, about masks, but this is the most comfortable mask I have found. It is the brand Kitsch, K-I-T-S-C-H. It's 100% cotton. They come in muted skin tone colors. And when you talk with it on, you don't suck it into your mouth as bad as you do a lot of the other masks. That's one pet peeve of mine with masks is when I'm talking to someone that it, that it gets sucked into my mouth as I'm breathing in and out and talking. And this one doesn't do that near as bad. Um, I've got my Florentine small zip wallet. Wet ones, tissues, medicine, sunny slash readers, my phone, filming on camera today, and then my Dooney and Burke catch all that you've all already seen. Okay, oh, and a little clip floating around. So that is it what's in my bag. Now, the back has a slip and zip, just the traditional Dooney setup. The front wall has a slip and then a, another slip pocket. Now, one thing that I do always look at, it doesn't make a difference to me, but out of curiosity, I do always look um, on any brand bag. I just am always curious as to where it's made. This one has a leather tab in it that says assembled in Mexico. Now, the last couple of zip zips I've gotten were made in China. This made me think of my, and it's in my closet or what, I'm back in the back of the house where I would go run and grab it and show you. Um, I have got a Dooney zip tassel tote in the quilted fabric, the signature quilted fabric in the color pink. And that bag has the exact same tag that says assembled in Mexico. So that's just a little tidbit that I thought was interesting that they, for this, this bag had went back to Mexico for it. Um, now back to quality control. I, I do think that maybe it's just my luck, but I've just had such bad luck with the Safiano leather. It just doesn't seem to be made as well as the pebbled leather bags and definitely not as well as the Florentine bags, which I mean, I think we all are aware of that. Um, but like I said, as of the time being, I'm done with Dooney and Burke Staffiano leather, but I could never write Dooney and Burke off completely. Like I've said many times in the past, Dooney and Burke is my favorite. It is my first love of handbags. The first designer, contemporary designer brand bag that I got was Dooney and Burke. My daddy bought it for me when I was 19. It was the Dooney Doodle um, sack shoulder bag in the color pink. So Dooney and Burke will forever hold a special place in my heart and they will always be my number one. Um, so please don't mistake what I'm fussing about for the Saffiano as me ranting on the company in general. I personally am just not happy with their Saffiano um, products, personally. However, I love their Florentine and I love their pebbled leather. And their pebbled leather is what they started with. So, I don't know. I mean, I know bags are gonna have flaws from time to time. Um, it's just the nature of it. But four flaws out of five is just a lot and two in one week is an extra lot, so. Anyways, but I, you know, I have more pros on this bag than cons. It's a good, true, medium-sized bag. It holds more than you would think. To the eye, it's very deceiving. And it's easy to get into, which this is the way I carry it the most on my arm. I think the aqua color is great. Um, it's just a pretty, true mid-tone mid of aqua. Got a little bit of blue and a little bit of green all swirled into one. And I've always been a fan of the two-tone. I know some people wish it were all one color, but I just think that this is 
Heritage, Dooney, and Burke. Um, to me, it's kind of what separates them from some of the other brands. Like, you can look at this and you know it's Dooney and Burke. Um, I just think that the brown kind of grounds the coloring and makes it more easier to wear. Like, this is what I wore to church today, and I think it's fine. Now, I know personal style, you know, differs person to person and tastes and whatnot, but I don't know. It's just, it's a great bag. It's a great bag. It's light and weight. It's not bulky and cumbersome on the body, like I was saying. It's very slim. And I just think that this style is great for any woman or man, any age. Um, I, it's, it's an easy carry. It's an easy, easy carry. And like I said, again, it holds more than you would think that it would. So, um, I, you know, obviously would buy it again. I've bought it before in the past. Um, in fact, I'm getting ready to go to the beach in, a few, in two weeks. And I was thinking the last time that I did go to the beach, um, I, I carried this bag. It was in the mint, though. I was looking back at pictures of it. And, and all the little pictures, I've got my little mint zip zip on my arm. Um, like I'm something special. <laughs> but um, anyways, but yeah, if you have any questions about this bag, please leave them in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time in Ashley's Closet. Bye, y'all.